In this video, I will show you how to fix if your EA app is not opening. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are on my desktop. Now there's a couple of things you can do and try to try and resolve this error. And the first thing you're going to want to do is find the EA app on your desktop. So you can see it's down here. And what you want to do first is right click onto this and come down and click onto properties. So this is going to open up a window like this. Now, if you look at the top, you've got all these different tabs. And what you want to do is click onto compatibility. From here, there's just a couple of things we're going to change. So the first thing you're going to want to do is tick this box to run this program in compatibility mode. Click on the drop down box and change this from Windows 8 to Windows 7. Next, under the settings section down here, you want to tick the box to run this program as an administrator. And once that's done, go ahead and click apply to apply the settings. So once that's done, click OK to come out of here and try and run the app again. Now, if it's still not working, there's something else you can try. So what you want to do is hold down the Windows key and then press R on your keyboard. And it's going to bring up a run box, which is going to look like this. Now, if this doesn't work, then just come down to your search box down here and go ahead and type run into the search box and then select the run app underneath best match. So in this box, you want to type the following, which is the percent symbol followed by local app data and then a percent symbol afterwards and then click OK. What it's going to do is load up a folder like this. Now, what you want to do is actually find the Electronic Arts folder. So you can just click onto any folder, press E on your keyboard. That's going to take you to order E section and you can see the Electronic Arts folder here. So what we want to do from here is basically delete the Electronic Arts folder. If it's saying this, try again. Then what you want to do is come down to the bottom right hand corner, click onto this arrow. You should see EA here, right click onto it and click onto exit and then go ahead and try and run this again. So you want to delete this folder. You can see that's now been deleted. What you of course want to do after this is make sure you delete it from your recycle bin just by emptying your recycle bin. Once that's done, go ahead and double click on the app to run it and that should hopefully resolve this issue. So I hope this tutorial helped out and if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.